The thought that there's something that could lower the risk of somebody getting pancreatic cancer is remarkable and exciting to me as a physician who treats people who have gotten and died from pancreatic cancer. Just this week, I had a very dear patient of mine die from pancreatic cancer. There's very little that we can do for most people who get pancreatic cancer. Now, this is just the latest in a list of other cancers where there's a suggestion that aspirin could lower the odds of a person getting that cancer. And I did a literature search, colorectal, esophageal, ovarian, pancreatic, stomach, prostate, breast, lung, and melanoma are some of the cancers where there's a suggestion in the literature that aspirin could lower the risk of that cancer. Now, now why should that be? Well, if you look at the pathway that aspirin interrupts, aspirin interrupts the inflammatory pathway in the body. That's why if you bang your knee and it's sore and it's inflamed, it can help. Well, it turns out that those same pathways look like they're part of the pathways that can lead to cancer. So if you interrupt those pathways, theoretically, that might be the reason why you lower the risk of cancer. So the big question that you're all wondering is, should I take an aspirin or not? And of course, I'm not gonna give you a definitive answer, but I am gonna tell you what the risks potentially are, which are bleeding. You can have an ulceration in the stomach or in the intestine, and that can bleed, and that can be serious. You can also have bleeding in the brain because of aspirin. So these are potentially very serious complications. So at the end of the day, yet again, I'm gonna tell you, you have to talk to your physician about the risks and the benefits for you. This is what personalized medicine is all about.